What if Varro would have never died? How would things have changed? Well, let's dive into it. Varro was a free man once, and was condemned to slavery by his own accord, to pay his own debts he owed to Roman citizens. He became a gladiator and the best friend of Spartacus. Spartacus really loved Varro as a brother, and as a friend. Well, there's a heavy point to consider. You remember Aulus, the man who was ordered to kill Spartacus' wife. Well, when Spartacus and Varro fought, and Varro was killed, Spartacus received a cut from Varro's sword, and afterwards was sent to the Medicus once he fell unconscious when sparring Agron. Only then and there, he saw Aulus, and in his dreams, he remembered walking by as Aulus was occupied by the house slave Mira. He remembered to have seen Aulus' stomach, and remembered Aulus mentioning he got an injury when trying to rescue Spartacus' wife, Sura. At that moment, Spartacus remembered there was no injury visible on Aulus, and as he awoke from that dream after Varro's death, in the Medicus's room, Spartacus checked, and there was no injury on Aulus. Only then, Spartacus realized something is seriously off, and that Bariatis ordered the death of the wife of Spartacus. Only Varro's death made this happen and let the whole Sura plot begin and the rebellion take place after all. How would the outcome have been avoided though with Varro not being killed? Well, when Bariatis ordered Spartacus to kill Varro and told him to continue on behalf of Numerius, Bariatis hesitated at first because he said the cost associated with the training and feeding of a gladiator and such is very costly. In fact, only rarely did gladiators die in the arena because of this simple fact. In no way would have Bariatis ordered the death of Spartacus, his champion, if Spartacus would have just completely refused to kill Varro. And I would even go as far as to say that Bariatus would also have Varro being let alive, at the cost of losing the magistrate's gratitude, of course, but we can't know this for sure. But Spartacus would have been let alive for certain. Spartacus would have likely remained a champion for a long time if Varro would have been let alive, as I see in no way that Spartacus learns the truth about Sura's death in any other way then Varro dying and him seeing Aulus in the Medicus room. Only that set the chain of events in motion after all. Doctori, meaning Animaeus, would become the Lanista, and most likely promote Crixus to be the next Doctori, as Animaeus favored Crixus above Spartacus, at that time at least, in the Lotus. Spartacus and Varro would fight at the Primus as the opening, or something in that sense. Duro Agron's brother would not die and still remain at Agron's side. And there is still a chance that the rebellion might happen though at some point, even if maybe not by Spartacus. If Varro had lived, Spartacus would also have remained in that moral grey area, never venturing into that all Romans are bad mindset, therefore they must die headspace. If you think about it, it's the same way with Animaeus. His death seriously threw the rebellion's moral compass out of whack. That let's kill civilians shitstorm in Sinuesa, for example, never would have happened if Animes had still been alive, because he was the only person who could reign in all the major players in the rebellion, talking about Crixus, Spartacus, Agron, Gannicus, you say it. The only moral authority that everyone looked to and placed equal weight in was Animes. If Animes would have said, do not kill them, everybody would have listened because they respected him so much as a doctori as well as a friend. But of course, Spartacus still would see the Romans bad in a way, because there's still the thing with Glaba and what happened, with Glaba taking Spartacus' wife and all that that followed. Either way, Aurelia would have been alive as she's not hunted by Rome, and Varro at some point would have paid his debts, and Animaeus for sure knows that Varro is a good man, and would have aided him in his desired goals to be free again and help him with his deeds. As Animaeus is a Lanista and has great influence in Capio now. 
Glaba would have remained alive as well, as Spartacus still despised him, but yet no rebellion takes place, giving him opportunity to take that man's life. And Anmaze would not have developed that mindset that Spartacus has no honor, as Spartacus would not have behaved and pressed for audience with Bariaris, as he does not know the truth, and his only purpose and goal is to fight in the arena, be champion and enjoy his time with Varro. Could Spartacus have gained his freedom? Yes, most likely. Even if Agron and such don't have the potential to be as good as Crixus or Spartacus, he still could have become champion after Spartacus is gone. Varro is free again at some point with no depths and Crixus is Doctori with Animaeus being Lanista. Varro's death was kinda necessary to develop the plot that we received with Sura, the rebellion and everything that followed and was a heavy component of the story all in all as was Animaeus' death. Either way, this was what if Varro would have never died. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next Spartacus video. Thanks a lot for watching.